So the Boruto episode came out yesterday. I basically watched it. And it was, oh my god, man. Crazy shit going on. Crazy shit going on on Boruto. Next Generation. Oh my god. I, I just, I don't know what to say anymore because now they found the ghost bitch ass motherfucker that basically was um, controlling all the people mentally and deadly and uh, even more people so basically I don't know if it's Misiki that's actually working for him that is my theory here is my huge theory now I don't know if I'm like late on this because I'm a day late Matter of fact, I'm not late at all. I'm not late at all. The episode came out yesterday, so it's not too late. So I basically, you know, was completely honest about how Misiki was controlling those um, snakes and controlling the town. But basically, it was the mask guy. He could be an Ambabu Black Eyes person, or sooner or later, we're going to figure out who he really is. Because Misiki was following him. At the end of the goddamn, um, the end of the goddamn show, so, yeah. But, here's the thing, what if, because Misiki is like a, is something, he's a, he's a just, he's just a something person, that's all I gotta say. Because he is part of Roshimaru, uh, second, he basically get, got his snake behind his back, uh, Clearly, he have uh, someone that he's working with. That could be Ro Ro Roshimaru right there. I don't know. Roshimaru is... <laughs> I don't even know if they're going to show him in later on in this um, Boruto episodes. But I'm just wondering, who in the hell is that motherfucker? He was controlling that dark fucking snake thing. And then, Boruto got the ability to see them, but they can't. He can only see it. Boruto is the only, like, the reason. He is the only fucking reason. It's not the Byakugan. It's not really the Byakugan, but sooner or later, when they find out that, uh, they're going to say that's not the Byakugan. They was like, after everything I show you guys, and saying that this eye is special, you're saying that it's not the Byakugan? Okay, so Boruto basically had this eye of, it was like the, I forgot what the guy said about, like, what Boruto has. I forgot. But, like, he actually got it from the first episode. So, it's really hard to use it. It's not, wait, if Boruto had that eye, he can manage to, like, use it when he's older. So I don't know if that's true or not because this this is basically going to be a change. I don't know because everything is getting too crazy on this episode of Boruto. Dead ass. I am so serious about this. I'm literally serious about this because Boruto is the only person that can see the darkness person. The the of uh, the darkness um monster inside people they're basically just like no they look like they look like Orochimaru snakes but they're just ghosts they bite people no way they didn't bite people matter of fact they do bite people and then like, they get like affected by it I think that guy that basically was controlling the snakes is going to be my guess. Is going to be a Roshimaru. I don't know. If it's Roshimaru, then I'll be right. But I don't know if it is. I mean, it's not my fault. It's my own opinion that he could be a Roshimaru. But I'm just saying. Because the Roshimaru is not. <laughs> I don't know. Roshimaru is not even there anymore. So why should I ask? He's just. I don't even know anymore. The episode was way too fucking crazy. Boruto had to find out who in the fuck who he is, but then he disappeared. And like, now they found, now they found out. Now they found out. Now on the next episode, I think 
Boruto was gonna like ask his dad about what the fuck happened the other day because those motherfuckers was clearly like getting attacked by that fucking bitch. He was clearly like what? A honorable black ass person? Or like that mask though? Because that mask someone don't know who he is. But wait until we find out on Later on in the series, because oh my fucking god, guys! If you guys watch Boruto, it's gonna be crazy. Um, next month, I don't know if next month they're gonna show the next arc of it, but I'm not going to like jinx it because they might will, and it's gonna get pretty sad. Okay, because I didn't finish Naruto Shikuden. I'm still at the war. I'm on episode 87, and like I'm clearly almost to 300. I'm clearly so close to 300 that I'm like almost at the part of Neji's death. So basically, I skip all my way to Boruto. <laughs> I don't really care, but I'm gonna finish Naruto Shakurin anyways. But, anyways. Like when I was talking about that dark person, maybe my theory, my, no, my other theory could be. <clears throat> maybe that guy in that mask. Has something to do with Borto. Because the way that Borto was staring at that guy, he clearly was saying that, oh, so you're the person who be um, um posting all these people. We're all gonna take you down. He got something to do with Borto and Misaki, I think. If this has to do with Borto and Misaki, then okay. But if it's only for Borto, then okay. I'll deal with that because Boruto is the only person that can see it. I don't know if Misaki can see it or or he's just imagining things because I can tell Misaki can see it as well. Only those two. Boruto can clearly just basically like unlock it a limited time because it's literally like an eye that's basically a little bit like a tensicon if it's a tensicon then okay i i might be like a little bit wrong about that biakugan shit because biakugan is like when somebody dies in your life and you clearly unlock it you clearly unlock it like that let's just say if hinata dies let's say if himawari like dies and like Boruto like lose a fed well basically they got the the Hugo clan's blood they actually do have the Hugo clan's blood because it really is part of their family of the Uzumaki but I don't know how can Boruto even unlock it we'll see but yeah she's gonna unlock the Byakugan either way okay so what if that guy what if that guy that was in that mask? He could be someone. He could be like the reason why Misaki was in the Hidden Leaf Village. That's all I gotta say for that. I wonder if Misaki ever, and I mean ever, like have a problem with that dude. Because the way how he was staring at him, they're both like looking at each other like they know each other. I'm like, what the hell is going on? How can Misaki be, like, following this bitch if you know, like, I don't even know. They probably might know each other. If it's his father or someone that Misaki is working with, then, oh my fucking god, that's, that, that could be a mind-blowing. I don't know who he is. I don't even know where in the fuck he came from, but I think... That he is the motherfucker that be controlling all these motherfuckers. I mean, he is. He already revealed himself, but we don't reveal that fucking mask. <laughs> Remember that time from Naruto that um, Toby has revealed himself that was fucking Obito? Yo, I was shocked. I said, I thought Obito was dead, but now, nah, man. He, he wasn't dead, man. That was back in 2014. But. Let's be real. All I gotta say is if Boruto can actually catch that guy, no, which is, I doubt that he will because he clearly is too damn fast. 
I clearly do not know why Boruto had to stick with that mother, that fat motherfucker. He should at least just go with his fucking friends so he can like go catch that motherfucker. Seriously, put those shadow clones up the air, let them follow that bitch ass, and when they and when he jumps, you kick him right in the face, put him in the water. But well, never mind, he's gonna disappear anyways. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's what I gotta say about Boruto episode. 11, but my god, I cannot wait for episode 12 next week. By the way, I need to finish watch. I need to watch Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, I think I should watch Dragon Ball Super so I can make a review video of it. Oh my god, man. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to smash the like button down below. And I will see you motherfuckers later. Bye.